welcome back to bitfumes and in the last episode we have seen how we can use these data table yajra box data table by using the html builder plugin of this so by using that we just come with this kind of clean structure or clean code for our data table everything is now on our backend on our level end in a class very structured good work so now we need to move on with some other uh, options so if you go to the config you can see we just need to publish some content of this uh, data table html so if you go run it you can have two things so it says copied views into data table so it's inside yeah here we have some views it says it's a script uh, dot blade dot php uh, okay no problem and a config file on our config folder so data table html let's study this so the data table is created with a class of table if you're using bootstrap you know there's a class for table called table wow <laughs> okay so if you see here yeah we have a class of table what if I say my table and refresh it and yeah you can see my table is there yeah here it is so this is very nice similarly you can give the ID to uh, get the JS part so data table builder which is given here as an ID so callback is just just for jQuery so nothing to worry about these things and the next thing is about the parameters so you can see the parameters are there what are the parameters so if you go to data table you can see we have this search part but what if I say here inside an array and I will say searching is false and refresh search is gone <laughs> simple so that's the way you can uh, add or remove functionalities and for that if you go to HTML builder parameters and these are the parameters you can uh, tweak with your data table next important thing on HTML builder is this event and callbacks so you have various events and callbacks and how you can use these things so simple example is given here so how we can do this so let's copy that and inside this parameter uh, first I'm going to give no parameters or no uh, arguments there so if I refresh yeah I have these things uh, which are not available before for some reasons of using this thing okay so now I'm going to use and uh, give an array and I will define this so draw callback what that draw callback mean whenever the data table is drawable that means it is called it is created then we call an alert table draw callback this means if I refresh you can see we have an alert so this is very nice and we have various of this callbacks create row draw callback we have seen footer callback footer number and in it complete various things are there next important thing is this column and even important inside this column is having this footer so if you want to have a footer at the bottom what you need to do you need to give a second parameter as true on your blade so first parameter is nothing and second parameter is true like this so this means if I refresh and keep this in mind it is just touching this line if I refresh okay now we have some gap that means the footer is there but we don't have anything in footer so why not do some good thing because if you search here it is just searching on everywhere so let's just remove that otherwise it will give every time okay so refresh and yeah if you search there it will search on entire uh, data table not on single column so how we can use that so you know in the data table tutorial quick starter there is very 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 important thing which is called footer column search it's almost the same what just need to add it is this init complete and remember this init complete is a callback 
so in this parameter i'm going to give init complete so let me just explain you so init complete is just whenever you uh, complete the typing then it says api dot columns dot every so it's just a kind of mapping or for each if you are familiar with php then we are using this this to the column so we are defining whatever is the column number or column is using because it's a loop then we create an input box at the footer and then append to the footer obviously append to the column footer and make it empty then on a change of that text box or input box we call the search so let's try this if you go refresh yes you have a uh, column or you have a text box in every uh, column footer now if you want to search let's say i want to search maggie so search hit enter and yes we have the result just related to this column name nothing related to other things so what if uh, i search this because we are getting one two three four five six result i search here maggie and we get more than six result because this is searching on name and email all also here also but it's valid for these two so that's why we are getting uh, uh, more number of results so this is very very uh, important and very useful thing on data table of yajra data table that you can have control on each and everything and that's very cool so these things are nice but in the next episode we are going to move on editor part of Yajra box data table and how we can edit on the go on the fly uh, these things on our data table so if you have liked this episode please go and share with your friends subscribe to this channel if you have not already subscribed and don't forget to like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye